I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and in this uh, quick movie tutorial I just wanted to show you how you can install uh, my presets that are available on my website www.markgaylor.com Okay, so let's uh, take a look at what presets can actually do uh, for your editing workflows. Um, well, I've got this uh, landscape image that I captured um, uh, in Alaska here and I'll just uh, click on the landscape pop and this is actually going to give a little bit more drama and life to rather a flat looking image there. And because I want a black and white conversion, I'm going to apply a second preset, which is my black and white high contrast preset. And here, in just two clicks, we've actually uh, fast tracked and applied a couple of dozen settings there, but I've applied them in just two clicks. Now, um, you may want to fine tune this. Uh, for instance, um, the landscape pop adds a couple of graduated filters. And because you may have cropped your image slightly differently to me, you may want to reposition uh, these graduated filters here. I'm just bringing it a little bit lower because I've been cropping to that 16-9 aspect ratio. The second graduated filter is just darkening off that foreground a smidgen there. I'll come back out. Now, one of the things that I would advise that you do when you're applying these uh, presets is just make sure that you've optimized the exposure. Now, the expo the starting exposure for this image was just about um, bang on, so I didn't need to do that. But if you've got um, an image that's slightly underexposed or slightly overexposed, the presets are not going to correct for that. So you're going to have to manually come in and adjust the uh, starting exposure for your image. If you do want to do a little bit more, uh, um, you, what you may choose to do is just hold down the shift key and double click on the uh, word whites and double click on the word blacks as well. This will just make sure that you optimize the dynamic range uh, for the finished image. Okay, so let's uh, let's quickly look at how we get the presets in uh, to Lightroom. And the way we do that is we come up to Lightroom's preferences accessed from the Lightroom menu on a Mac or the edit menu on a PC. We come over to Preferences. Uh, click on the Presets tab. That's the second one along. And then click on the Show Lightroom Presets folder. This uh, shows us where um, Lightroom's presets are actually stored on your computer. And it's actually very difficult to find this folder if um, Lightroom hadn't given us that little button there. And what we're looking at, because you can have presets for all sorts of functionality inside of Lightroom, we're actually looking for the Develop Presets. Now, if you've got, uh, if you've downloaded my presets and they're sitting um, uh, in your downloads folder or on your desktop, um, all you need to do is slide them into the develop presets folder. I'll just open up a new window. I've got, um, go to my desktop, and uh, if you've got some a folder of presets then you would just click and drag them into this window. You don't need to drag them in one at a time, just drag in the whole folder. And uh, what you will then need to do is you will need to restart Lightroom before Lightroom will see my presets. Um, and I'll just, uh, just show you that one more time. I'll just click on the zero all, okay? And then just do that to click edit the landscape pop okay and the black and white high contrast and again some fine tuning may be required but you can see how quickly we can edit images if we start either creating or accessing other people's presets and start using those i'm mark gala for markgala.com um, thumbs up and uh, share the information if you found this useful and i'll catch you online next time